y'all. I'm Astrological Geek. I once was silent, but now I speak. And just to differ differentiate for myself for editing purposes, one video from another, and since these flowers needed to be organized, and if, if you've ever seen the TV show Monk, I am so that character. I am so Monk. And I could not stand the fact that, you know, that these flowers were unorganized. My mom knocked them over a while ago and I just, I got to fix them. And they're a dusty mess. So if I end up coughing and sneezing during this, please forgive me. So, but I thought I would go ahead and I would deal with what is a very important subject to me. And that is homelessness. Now, something that I didn't know about homelessness at all. And that was that it has now become, there, there is a think tank down in Texas that, and also, by the way, um, please forgive me, anyone that might be hard of hearing or starting to lose their hearing. I, I don't mean to put all this background rustle of me organizing the flowers in your ears. Please forgive me about that. Um, but I am going to be organizing this while I speak here. Anyway, so... One of the big problems is that oop, there's a think tank down in Texas and they have been pushing across the country to get legislatures and senators and governors, whatnot, everyone, everyone in on this and they had they started county by county uh well before covid hit and they have just pretty much absolutely exploded since covid um which is very much not a good thing i really should put these in last these flowers if you can even see what i'm doing um anyway they have ended up pushing to make homelessness a federal crime in the US and they have managed to do it and they're doing it state by state there I think that looks a lot better yeah. anyway they have managed to do it and they're doing it state by state and they were doing it county by county but now they're getting it done state by state and it is now you're committing a federal crime in the US when you sleep in a public place is what it actually is. Uh, there are many other things that homeless people have to do in public because they don't have, you know, the means necessary. But they, they literally have outlawed basically... Uh, the majority of the states in the United States have made it a felony offense to sleep in public and basically just to be homeless. If you are found sleeping on public lands, that means on a sidewalk, under a bridge, under an overpass, in a meridian, uh, even out on camping grounds if you if it is if you are sleeping on camping grounds camp campgrounds are you know usually a public a federal public area there are there are private camping grounds there are lots of private camping grounds but there are lots of public camping grounds the majority of them are in California uh, but for the rest of the US they're pretty much it aren't any public camping grounds any longer anywhere um which which really which is sad and unfortunate but there you go so if you are caught sleeping on any public place you have committed a felony and you are arrested and charged with a felony crime and the homeless obviously they don't have the money for lawyers and they're not given any legal defense of any kind so this is this is in my mind an absolute travesty the other thing that i ended up realizing and it can be seen now with not only pot which is uh, a federal 
you know, a federal crime to even have pot at all, but also with abortion, the states themselves get to decide what is a felony. The U.S. government can suggest what is a felony, but the states are able to decide for themselves what is a felony. And along with this, there is the three strikes rule which is still in effect. If you get three misdemeanors, by the, th by the time you get the third misdemeanor, that is automatically elevated to a felony and you are automatically a felony criminal. And in the United States, now the interesting thing is that the states also decide whether or not you get to vote. And what the way it's supposed to be is that according to the federal government, you are only banned from voting if you have a felony on your permanent record, on your, you know, record. So if you are a felony criminal, you are no longer allowed to vote. You're also not allowed to have a gun. You're also not allowed to, you know, do many things. But if you have a felony conviction on your record, then you can no longer vote. So it is very interesting. And this one is an amendment in the Constitution. I think it is actually the 13th Amendment. I need to look it up again. But if you are convicted of a felony crime, they can legally put you into slavery and you can work as a slave. You can be forced, you, are, you can be forced into forced labor and you can be forced to be a slave if you are a felon, if you are a felon criminal. And if you have a felony on your record and along with that, you are also barred from voting, especially in federal presidential elections. Now, the interesting thing about that is that people who have been in jail for misdemeanors, the states also decide whether or not you're able to vote simply because you have a misdemeanor on your record. So this needs to be dealt with. This is a problem for the people who are homeless. This is a problem for people who are not homeless. This one actually covers, you know, this felony and criminal offense stuff covers far greater than the homeless population. So hopefully whoever watches this will look it up. You know, don't just listen to me. Look up this stuff. Look up, you know, and if you can't find the information... Call a lawyer, get some information about what is a felony offense in your state. And if you can't even look that information up without being considered a criminal yourself, then that means that there's some big, nasty, dirty shit going down in your state that, in fact, even just in your county where you're living. So look this stuff up, okay? Don't just rely on me. I would love to be proven wrong, but to be proven wrong is hope. And we all know that hope is a four letter word that is a lie, but I hope <laughs> to be proven wrong about this. But seriously, look this stuff up. Don't trust me. Don't believe me. Look it up. Dig for yourself. Dig for yourself in your own county. Dig for yourself in your own state. And... I hope to God that you can prove me wrong, but one of the best ways to prove me right or wrong is to go and talk to homeless people and record your conversations, or at least record them for your own mind. Talk to homeless people personally. Find out. Talk to cops, if they'll even talk to you about this. See if you can get your hands on a couple of lawyers and see what they have to say. Do they even know about this? Most lawyers don't even know about homeless people because they won't take them because they don't have the money to pay. They're not about to, you know, deal with clients that can't pay them. The system is rigged and it's not good. So I'm going to end this one because it's getting on 10 minutes. Sorry about the rustling <laughs> and the flower stuff, but I had to differentiate these videos somehow and those flowers really need a fixing. So anyway... I'm Astrological Geek. I once was silent, but now I speak. Please look this stuff up for yourself. Please. I would love to be proven wrong in this. I really would. So bye for now, and I'll see you on the next video. And the next video is going to do with 
Food stamps, also known as the SNAP card, S-N-A-P, and all of these criminal convictions. So that video is next and it deals, it is intimately connected with this one. So bye for now.